Yes, everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to a brand new day, a brand new, yours truly, Dave Nation, is here to another podcast, another, another show of my choosing, of my choosing, the only show that will only do a test of time years and years and years to come, seriously, bro. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about everything that needs to be said. Now, the topic I want to run by today is about YouTubers. Now, these are just all YouTubers around the world. Do many things, many videos, and YouTube has come a long way since YouTube it, the inception. Uh, all videos do go up to YouTube once, once they're uploaded to YouTube from their social media sites. Usually they have links to their social media, to Facebook's, to their YouTube links. Uh, this is like they're linking up to their social media sites. So when they upload videos to Facebook, they're going to upload videos to YouTube. So it's kind of coincides, like they sync up to their, their uh, YouTube uh, channels. So, so YouTube is basically a video service. And I've been saying this for a very long time. YouTube is just a video service, video driven, website where you can upload your own videos, have a YouTube channel, as many subscribers you want, many viewers you want, does it runs in the thousands, uh, subscriber base runs in the thousands, and you get paid. You get paid folks. You get paid for being a YouTuber. Not just to put up a video and just hoping you get paid for doing this. Because people say you get paid for doing YouTube videos. Well, people just some sometimes will say, okay, we get paid for our YouTube videos. We do here and there. But we do freelancing. We, they call it freelancing uh, um, videos. They do freelancing. So they just freelance the videos until someone gives them money by doing videos. Uh, the only way the only way the video can get review or review off YouTubers if people were to pay them the, their videos up there uh, on their own channels, their own YouTube channels. And I'm just saying, it's not just the YouTube that, uh, saying, hey, we want to pay these YouTubers to have their uh, videos up there on you, their YouTube channels and pay them royalties, kind of royalties, as they would say. Um, this is, we're all doing freelancing videos up in YouTube. We still like that. The formula, as they would say, we like the formula. We like the way YouTube is done, uh, the way it's structured, way it's uh, way it's structured. Now it's okay for the coronavirus to come in, and and uh, we just we're just thanks that YouTube is around, being where it is today. If it weren't for YouTube, I wouldn't get my news stories. I wouldn't get my YouTubers out there to do what they need to do. If it could, it could mean like a first, uh, it could mean a first amendment. Audits videos. These are audit videos, and I'm not just saying that. I've seen a few of those on YouTube. These are first minute audits. These are from the United States. These are people who go out there with a camera and film a lot of uh, people and hold them accountable. They like to hold people accountable with their cameras, and it's always the first minute audit. Uh, they like to do audit videos. They'll say in their titling of their videos, and what audits really mean is they're going to go to these places. And they do have uh, policies. They have policies when you go into these business places. Now, um, it does say in some of their places they have uh, things that do with photography. Now, uh, people say uh, cameras not cameras. Cameras can be any type of cameras. Photography is different. They do say when you go into the uh, business buildings, they'll say um, clear, uh, clear as day right up to the wall. They they, they have this black and white uh, with tells you about photography and what to not to use photography in business places. Uh, and um, but they do that and some to let you know that uh, I think in 2010 uh, and this is United States, mind you. This is 2010 where they have a memo going around saying you can, photographers can use inside and out buildings. And um, clear as day, you see them on a few photographers. I want to mention some YouTubers out there who do these First Amendment audits. I really appreciate these people for a heck of it. And they do really good. They do what they do. And it's quite interesting. It's very quite interesting. It's like, being, it's like doing behind the scenes footage of uh, an audit video. An audit video. They call these things audit videos. Where they audit out people, and um, they have their own cameras. And they have a rig system, and mind you, they have a rig a rig system with their cameras. Uh, they could be their selfies. They could be like a regular camera, like a Canon camera, and they're not doing the gotcha moments. They're just doing filming. They're doing filming, and photography and film is all one together. Um, 
So, <laughs> basically, folks, photography is photography and photos and photos. Photos are taking, like, uh, snapshots of things. Videos just moving, videos, videos, videos. So, just like I said, first movement audio is that, eh, I want to talk about this guy on YouTube now. I really appreciate what he does. Last night, he was, um, I'll give you the YouTuber's name. He goes by the name of Exploring with Danny. Now, he does haunted videos. He goes at nighttime and tries to go do the best, darn it, uh, haunted videos. Um, he was out there the other day, and apparently this story was on, on the news. Apparently, this, um, <clears throat> I won't give you the great, I won't give you, like, the full, like, story about it. But it was a good story nonetheless. He actually saw that person in the in the news clip. Um, he went to that location. I'm not going to give you the location he went to. But somewhere in um, in London, England. This is an, I'll give you an example. He went to uh, London, England to, went to this location to uh, see <coughs> if this is true or not. If the uh, legend is true about this, about this, um, I won't go into great te detail about the story, but go find it on Exploring with Danny. Um, he has a YouTube channel called Exploring with Danny. His video recently, uh, he went to his place, and this was in London, England, mind you. It was in, uh, um, he went in London, England. I think it was, I think it was in London. I don't know. Anyway, it was somewhere in London, England, and, uh, he's a YouTuber who goes around doing these haunted videos, and they're pretty good. They're real. I mean, real, real. And, um, uh, it scares the living daylights out of but but Danny so he's he's a warrior. You call these people warriors. And they go out and do these videos, these haunted videos. And it's like a it's like a challenge to them. It's like a challenge to them. See if they go out there and see if these stories are true, if these legends are true stories. Uh, what they say what they say. And uh, clearly, clearly they're some of them are real and some of them are not. They're just made out to be fake stories and that's it this truly fake uh, story. But, you know, they want to debunk all this stuff. They want to debunk the haunted stories that are legendary for a long time, for a very long time. Legendary uh, haunted locations, if they're true or not. And they say what they say they mean. And, um, and yeah, these girls, these people are just warriors. And I'm just watching these people on YouTube videos and I'm astounded how they do all these videos. And these, produ these are kind of like production videos, in a way. Um, and they're very epic -y. They're very epic -y in terms of videos. Um, and I just really appreciate them. I'm, I, I kind of gravitate to these haunted videos more than any other videos on YouTube. The more haunted videos I see, the more... Uh, let's just say I'm more acceptable what I see on camera. But Explore with Danny, he does... He, he, he explores, a, he tells a story before he goes into the video, before he does the, uh, videoing out there. So he tells you what the story is about, and he'll videotape the whole damn thing, the beginning and the end, and then at the end of the video, you can put comments on there, subscribe to his YouTube channel, and really, really get the viewership up there. And now he, he does, it doesn't matter for him if he gets the viewership or not, uh, or subscriber base that he gets. Um, if he gets that, that's like gravy on the, uh, gravy stuff. Um, but yeah, his videos are just pretty good. But you can always make a comment on his videos and, um, do put a good comment because he does great videos. Anyway, I just want to appreciate these YouTubers out there. Um, uh, I really, really, uh, keep doing what you're doing. I really mean that. Just, I stress this strongly, like a politician would say. Uh, I stress this strongly. Go try out these YouTubers and you'll, you'll see who these people really are. And I'm not just trying to debunk these people at all. They're, these are good videos. These are people doing good things on YouTube videos are all about. Some of them do the audit videos and they just do audit videos and they... Uh, uh, but anyway, nonetheless, I, just, I don't want to bore you guys to death, but I'm just going to say, go try out these people on YouTube. They're really excellent. I really appreciate that. Uh, it's, just, it's just great for me to listen to them. Very honestly... And Ford Direct, I mean, there's a tons of them out there doing exploring videos to uh, haunted videos. It means it, it runs the gamut what YouTube is doing these days. And I really appreciate these people on YouTube. I really do. And I want you people to really, really understand them, really 
to really understand them. And I try, I try to do every video I see. Not every video I see, but a few of them. And they're really great. They're really great. I really appreciate that. So people, just keep doing what you do on YouTube. And I want to give a shout out to everybody who's doing YouTube videos on their YouTube channels. Real big shout out. Anyway, peace out.